Let's go see Shell. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? Well, I thought we got to see how it all started for each person. She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Beck is a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup. Good job. <laughs> it's like we have an ad. We wait. <laughs> Fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Yeah. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Hold on, I want another bite. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. 
Ice cream sounds good right now, but I'm already full of beer. You have ice cream? Ice cream and beer would be really good, wouldn't it? <laughs> you guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. What? <clears throat> Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Time to leave. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I guess we go find Roman. Romand. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Wait, how do I get over there? Oh. Hey! <clears throat> hey, Becca. Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Mm-hmm. Smells good. Sounds good. This hasn't worked in a long time. I wouldn't give her a cup of coffee in the morning. No. <clears throat> it's basically the army. <coughs> uh. Oh yeah, you're in the art. Oh yeah, you are, aren't you? <laughs> Ooh, it's out in here. I forgot. So Thank you guys God have a have shit a ton, now. right? A garden? I think she said a garden. You have to have ice Don't cream. Don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Pour your beer in the ice cream. <laughs> ah! Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's feeding time. It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. I understand what the point of this is. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Wait, does it keep other zombies away? Who checks like this all the time in all of our equipment? Really? That makes sense, though. It's good that they are. Make sure everything's working. That one better not be a cat. It better be like a rat or something. Uh, uh, sorry. Disturbed him. What's he in? It better not be like a cat or a dog or somebody that's a pet. 
Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> Was it a dog? What is it? Ugh. Kill her! <laughs> Kill her! She's disgraceful! She's eating a dog! <laughs> Fuck you, you're- Ugh. Oh god. Why couldn't it be a rat? It is a- No! Hey, sir. I don't get why they're keeping zombies back here. We could have had a puppy. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again. Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just, you can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But what if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. Is that true? You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. They have this all barricaded. This mop. Can't be fair. Jesus. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual Stupid stuff. Dick. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, oh, shit, we all know what him? it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. I'll send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. <clears throat> could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How's he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. We can find a way for him to help. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. Oh! He can't stay here. <clears throat> I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. We died. all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. 
We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we yeah. can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, <clears throat> you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's I don't want to kill be? him. That is racist. <laughs> Dude, does he come back and steal our we shit? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. He looks scared. If it means he can't come back to hurt us, that isn't the same thing. But last time, Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. Oh, look at him. He looks so scared. Barnett, come back. I'm not ready to let that go. This might not be a wrong decision. <clears throat> Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what Give do him got? some food. When? Three or four what cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. Oh, I don't know if him. you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever... Come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. Aw, poor guy doesn't know what they're saying. <clears throat> I waitress and we actually get a lot of Mexicans that come in and they don't speak English. Like, they're, they're learning it, they're learning it, but not very well. Like, there's some that actually do, do you they have any speak fours? it fairly well, but there's a lot that we just don't know, and they try to communicate their best, but it's like, can't hate somebody for not being able to speak your language. They have their own language. <clears throat> if I was him, I'd be like, wrong ling long what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> exactly man I hope that guy was good and like that we did the right thing right I hope did you play the DLC oh wait yeah you did because you know what happened to those guys on the bus all right well let's see let's see if he brings a bunch of people back nope. and we die do you have any sevens Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack for was my a lot, sake, we why? don't do it anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time... Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. Hey, we're playing cards. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah, just don't take too long. I'm gonna win what a game. What was that all about? It's an achievement. I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Ice cream's all foamy now.
<clears throat> How come no one's watering these? Little kid mentality, what? What do you mean? <clears throat> Little kid, oh, I see what you're saying. She's sneaking out even in a time like this. It's so stupid. Like, what an idiot. For real, like, what is she thinking? There could be hordes that might eventually come and then she's fucked. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. My friend? What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Stephanie is my friend. Is this really necessary? <clears throat> Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive? We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? doesn't matter. It matters to me. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Who's Boyd? Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. It's true. That is shitty. give her a second chance. She might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? You want the camper. I'm not doing it. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Wait. Okay, he said we let that guy go and now Boyd is dead. So the guy came back and killed Boyd? What? Why didn't we see any of that? It should have showed that. What the fuck? That's so stupid that they didn't show it. That's so dumb. So I wasn't supposed to let the guy go. That's great. Well, at least Boyd wanted the guy to stay, so at least it wasn't somebody that was against it. Shell? What's wrong? <clears throat> Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. He what did. is it? It's Stephanie. <clears throat> she stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to- Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? 
It is kind of shitty. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. That's so sad. I can't believe he died. So the guy did was bad. She is kind of not good. Well, at least Becca's not like, yeah, let's kill the man. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. <clears throat> what? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. Wait, yeah, I don't want to leave these people. for how long? People. I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Worth a shot. But... I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Michelle, it's time. Wait, if we drive away, then they kill Stephanie anyway, right? I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become... Yeah, she dies no matter what. Then it is what it is. We're not killing an innocent person. She was shitty. I am say she's not in the vehicle. It's not like she's in here with us. Then it might be a little bit different. But what's the point of leaving? I like how he's making her do it. I'm sorry. Me too. Is Becca her daughter? <clears throat> Man, I bet that changes the whole story if you drive off.